Good morning to you. This is Pastor Henley from New Delhi once again. Today I'm very excited to share the Word of God to you. And the Word of God which I'm going to share is from the book of Zechariah chapter 13, verse 7. Zechariah, Zechariah chapter 13, verse 7. Awake all sorts against my sifter, against the man who is my companion, says the Lord of hosts. Strike the sifter, and the seed will be scattered, then I will turn my hand against the little ones. This is the word of God. Dear friends, in the book of Genesis, there are two trees in the Garden of Eden that you need to be familiar with. One is the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, and the tree of life. Today, I want you to consider the other tree, the tree of life of which God wanted them to partake because it is a picture of our Savior Jesus Christ. Whoever partake of this tree will have eternal life. This is why when Adam and Eve partook of the forbidden tree and sin, they could no longer partake of the tree of life because the basis of sin is there. In Romans chapter 6 verse 23. As a result, God had to drive them out of the garden and place cherubim, a flaming sword, we turn every way to guard the way to tree of life. Genesis chapter 3 verse 24. So what is the significance of all this? In particular, the flaming sword. There is a principle in the Bible interpretation known as the law of first mention that tells us that every time a word is mentioned for the first time in the Bible, the meaning of the word in that instance has special significance for how we are to understand that word throughout the Bible. In this instance, it is the first time the word sword is mentioned in the Bible. In the context of this verse, we see the sword here is God's judgment. It is a restless sword turning every way so that there is no way sinful man having disobeyed God can ever return to him. Now, read today's scripture, which has the last mention of the word sword in the Old Testament. The sifter mentioned in the words refers to Jesus, our good sifter, and how all his disciples fled when he was struck on the cross. It shows us that the restless sword of judgment, which for so many generations had bare sinful men from the Holy God, was finally seen on the bosom, in the bosom of our Lord Jesus Christ. The full judgment and vengeance of God for all sins came upon him on the cross. Jesus was smitten on the cross for our sins. By sacrificing himself and absorbing the full burn of the judgment that was meant for you and me, Jesus stopped the word, the sort of judgment that prevented us from partaking of the tree of life. He sacrificed his own body to open the way to the tree of life. God will never condemn us because his only begotten son has already been condemned on our behalf. The cross at Calvary has become the tree of life for us in the new coming. We can freely partake of his righteousness and live each day without guilt, condemnation and shame. Hallelujah. What does this mean, my friend? This means that there is no more judgment for you when God looks at you. Jesus has redeemed you from the ministry of that. Enjoy what he has purchased for you today and partake of the finished work of Jesus, our tree of life. Today, you have a right to partake of every iota of the abundant life Jesus came to give you. John 10.10 10. Start receiving the abundance of his unmerited favor. Start receiving the free gift of His righteousness. Start receiving the cleansing power and His forgiveness. Allow His resurrection light to drive up every symptom of date and decay in your circumstances and enjoy divine wholeness at a whole new level. Let us pray. Father, thank you that Jesus stopped the sorts of judgment and sacrificed His own body to open the way for me to partake of the tree of life. Thank you that I can freely partake of His righteousness and live each day without guilt, condemnation and shame. I believe that you have nothing but life for me and life more abundantly. And I receive your unmerited favor, your righteousness and the cleansing power of your forgiveness. 
resurrection life is mine. All praise and glory to you in Jesus' name.